if you were listening in your school physics class, you might remember the name Isaac Newton. Newton created a set of laws that explain how and why things move. Things like tennis balls. Tennis balls obey Newtonian laws of physics. We're going to look at something called the double slit experiment. If we removed the net from our tennis court and replaced it with a brick wall, well, our tennis balls won't get very far. Let's make a gap in the brick wall slightly wider than a tennis ball. Now, when we fire tennis balls towards the wall, some of them get through the gap and pile up at the other end of the court. As you would expect, most of the balls pile up in the middle, opposite the gap in the wall. If we now make two gaps in the wall, some of the balls go through one gap, some of them go through the other, and some of them bounce off. So, we end up with two piles of balls. So far, so good. Now, let's do the same thing, but use electrons instead of tennis balls. If we fire electrons through a narrow slit in a tiny wall, some of them go through and end up hitting a screen at the other end of our quantum tennis court. Just like the tennis balls, we see most of them piling up roughly in the middle, opposite the gap. Now, let's have two gaps, like we did in our brick wall. So what would you expect to see happen? Two bands of electrons hitting the screen? Well, here's where it gets strange. We actually see many bands across the screen. This happens because the electrons, or particles, are behaving like waves. Waves have peaks and troughs rising and falling, just like on the sea. If two waves meet, sometimes one peak meets another, whilst a trough meets another trough. So these waves are in phase. However, sometimes a peak will meet a trough, cancelling each other out. If a wave passes through two gaps in a wall, two waves will come out the other side. These two waves will interfere with each other and produce an interference pattern. Incredibly, this is what our electrons are doing. They're behaving like waves, producing an interference pattern, the bands on the screen. This time, we'll put a tiny detector, like a little camera, pointing at the slits. We should be able to see which slit an electron passes through, one, the other, or both. When we look at the slits, we don't get an interference pattern on the screen. When we stop looking at the slits, the interference pattern comes back. The electrons seem to know they're being watched and behave differently. Looking closely at the way particles, like electrons, behave as waves, has shown us a behaviour that defies all explanation. Quantum physics shows us that what we believe to be real can change depending on whether we're watching or not.